Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to FX Maniac again. This is Sayed Mahmoud Amiri and welcome to another really cool tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to create this really cool effect using Typeflow, 3ds Max and V-Ray. So let's take a look. So this is basically the effect that we're going to go ahead and create today. I hope you guys enjoy. It's actually very simple. So the first step is to get this uh, character animation, which I got it from Miyaxmo. You basically go there and you go create a free account, select a character in the characters tab and then go into animations and like I went into the dance uh, or any movement actually you can you can pick and then click on it and then that character will get that and then you can download it and then open it inside 3ds max so if i go into 3ds max this is the scene the actual scene in type flow i mean the original scene that i've done so if i go into like vray ipr you can see that it looks it looks pretty good you know we have um particles leaves and stuff so yeah it's very simple don't get too uh you know it's it's really simple so uh i am going to go into a new scene this is basically the scene that i've uh, imported the character and when you import it, it looks kind of like this so i'm gonna hit m and uh, get a new standard material and i'll apply that onto the character and then what i'll try to do is uh i'll select the bones i'll select the character hit control i to inverse the selection and right click hide selection because I don't want to see the bones basically want to see the character and the movement so here we have our character and uh, next thing I'm gonna do is if you want to get rid of this uh, these selection brackets you can just hit J and uh, it will not show so I'm going to create a box like a floor so control right click and create a box or you can go into create panel box and uh, create a box Make sure it is in the center of the scene. Right click basically on the spinners to zero them out. And hit R to scale them up and make sure they're big enough. Hit M and add a darker material to the floor because I don't want them, I don't want the floor to look like the character because of the same color and stuff. So yeah, here's our character, here's the movement. Now get let's get on to type flow. And um, if I'm going a little fast, I'm sorry, <laughs> just there's like you know tons of tutorials on Typeflow, and this one is also very basic. So you go ahead, you download Typeflow free. You know it's free. You can just Google it and download it. You know just Google Typeflow and click on here. And yeah, select your V-Ray version, and that's it. You know. Uh, okay, so. So let's uh, let's start with the type flow part. So what I'm going to do is go into type flow, create it, and then I'll open the editor, which is basically this. And I'm using Max 2020 right now. So yeah, the first thing I'm going to do is I'll I want to create a birth operator and then a position object. I want the object to be the character so now particles will be born from the character and the, the next very important thing is that when you are using type flow you make sure you want to go into your time configuration and make sure real time is off because we want uh, the type flow to basically calculate every single frame so it would be accurate so uh, now you see we have a few particles getting born from this uh, character but it's pretty less one of them to be like what 2000 you can increase them later but for now I think 2000 is good but the the problem is they're just sticking there they're just creating like every frame I want to have gravity so uh, what I'm gonna do is hit tab and I'll add a force node and apply it here and uh, do this so what I'm going to do is make sure that we have gravity, so minus 0.6 or something, or minus 0.3. Now, as we can see, we have gravity. The particles are falling down, but they're going through the floor. 
So what I need to do is add a collision node. So I hit tab and add collision and I'll add it here. And I want the particles to collide with the floor and with the character. So I'm going to select the character. So now the particles are going to collide with the floor and with the character, which will make them look even better. Yeah, so now they're they're looking pretty good. So yeah, here it is. So if you want them in the example, we have leaves, right? So if you want them, you know, to have that shape, which is a default shape inside of uh, Typeflow. So I'm going to add a shape node and make sure when you are um, adding a new operator, you're not too forward in the timeline because sometimes it's going gonna to take a lot of time to calculate. So make sure in the early frames and uh, I'll just make it 3D. You can you can choose any shape. Let's try something else. Let's try you know, leaves, but maybe maple leaves, you know, and uh, now they're not showing because in the display we have small dots we're going to change its geometry and they're pretty small so i'm going to go into the shape turn on scale and make it like what 600 and make the variation to 60. so now we have like maple maple leaves you know but the the one that i've used in the example is uh, leaves ash so this is the one and now they're like very they don't have any rotation so what I'm gonna do is hit tab and add add a rotation so that they get rotated and also hit tab add a spin because I want them to go spinning rotation is basically a static value and spin is gonna like make them spin you know over time so now if I play this you can see that they are spinning and they are colliding with the floor and they are colliding with the character um, but the thing is if you see in the original example that we have two groups of particles one which they fall from the character and the other one they are like just floating in the air so this is the particles they're supposed to be floating we don't we don't want gravity to affect them so what I'm going to do is go back a few frames, make sure every time you make a change you are in the uh, you know, beginning frames of your animation. And I am going to go into the force and I'll zero out the gravity because I don't want gravity to affect them, but we, I do want some turbulence. So I'm just going to make it like what, uh, 2, 1 and 0.25, just some random values. Let's see how they look like. So I'm going to play and you can see that they're they're floating in the air you know and uh, yeah they're, they're they're not too bad you know so yeah they're moving if I play this back so you can see that yeah they're pretty good yeah I would say fine you can still you know play around with the values I'm just showing you the thing you know you can you can play around you can you can you can add another layer of noise you know as much as you want but it's it depends on you so how much time you want to spend it the more time the more better it's going to look so this is the thing and uh, what else do we need here for these particles i don't think anything else pretty simple and um the other thing that I want to create is this uh, first explosion of particles which they fall down on the floor and collides with everything so what I'm going to do is just select this event copy and right click paste and uh, we're gonna make a few little adjustments and that's it so I'm gonna go back I will instead of using a birth I'm gonna use a birth surface and add the character now we're gonna have uh, you know particles all over the vertices of this character so which is there and then I'm gonna make it small because we don't want them to be too big so I'm gonna make it like 300 and the other thing is um, yeah the other thing is that um, they need to have gravity so maybe negative 0.6 and I think we're done so let's see here let's play this out Mm -hmm. yeah we have it we're gonna go back yeah 
we have this burst of particles at the beginning and then we have particles which they are floating during the movement you know and uh, the other thing you can do if you feel like they're moving a little too fast let's see here I don't think they're moving too fast but still if you if you want if you feel like they're moving a little too fast what you can do is that select the tire flow go back again make sure um, add a slow operator you know add a slow operator to this and to this so that they don't move so fast so if I go back to the scene here now you can see that they're not moving as fast you know so you can you can always adjust the movement and you know the the flow of the particles how much and as much as you want so yeah you can see that it's it's it was a pretty simple setup and pretty quick we got this effect here and you can always go ahead and crank up the number of particles which is gonna make it look even better but I think for for this example for just for the tutorial it's fine I'm just going to quickly show you guys how to set up the lighting. So I'm going to go into render setup, go V-Ray next, and uh, I'm going to add a V-Ray light, V-Ray sun, and uh, go ahead, add it. I want to add an environment, yes. Move it up. And the, the thing that you want to make sure is that you go into the rendering environment select V-Ray exposure control and if I go into V-Ray IPR you can see that we have nothing and the reason is that if I stop this IPR we don't have the mesh operator inside Typeflow so I'm gonna go open that up add the mesh and shift drag it here also now if I run the IPR you can see that we have those particles and if I play this the IPR is just going to render in real time and we have the effect that we're looking for so if I zoom in yeah you can see that we're creating some 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 good looking bunching effect which I don't know how it happened but it just happens which is really good so this is the effect basically you know it was pretty quick pretty simple but you know the effect is interesting you can try different shapes try different movements of the character you know come up with your own ideas but yeah and uh, since I haven't done a tutorial in a while so let's I thought like yeah let's just do a quick one for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it and as always um, if you go to if you go to my YouTube channel, Effects Maniac, which if you haven't subscribed already, it would mean a lot to me if you just subscribe and turn on the bell icon to get the notification every time I make a new tutorial. And, you know, like the videos, comment, and, you know, tell me what you guys need and what you want, you know, for the next tutorial. I was, I was going to do this, which I'm probably going to do next. So yeah, just keep on, you know, keep up, keep up with the channel. And then also make sure to go to my Instagram page, Effects with Sayed. And, you know, follow me there. Follow, check out some of my works. And, you know, if you like them, you know, maybe I can make a tutorial for you guys about any of these that you want. So just tell me what you need. And yeah, I'll try to keep up, you know, as always. And um, yeah, thank you again for watching. And... Um, as I always say, till next time, enjoy working.